I finally got room and I have the budget to put together my first home theater system. I hear that all the time from customers, from friends, from family, looking for advice and looking for recommendations. Uh, you know, if you want a really deep dive into home theater, you get on the forums, you start reading things, people are telling you, Dolby is telling you, you see Atmos advertising on Netflix, all of this stuff saying, well, you need all these speakers. You need at least 7.1.2, otherwise you're not going to get the effects of, a, you know, of modern day um, multi-channel home theater. I think that that's nonsense. One thing that will confuse somebody who's brand new and has never hooked up or never set up a multi-channel system before is throwing even more channels into the mix. I recommend against it all the time. Now, if you're gonna have an installer come and set everything up for you, that's, that's completely different. You go, you go wild, get, get as many channels as you think you want or the installer recommends. But if you're going to be doing it yourself, read a lot, read a lot of reviews. Concentrate on, you know, the best bang for your budget dollar in terms of both the AVR and the speakers. And I personally would always start off with either a 5.0 or a 5.1 system. You can always add a subwoofer later if you need it. Now, if you're going to go with small bookshelf speakers for your mains, you might wanna jump in right away with a, you know, a modest size subwoofer, assuming that your room is of modest size. And I know in other videos I've said, if you've got a cavernous 20 by 30 foot room, that you need more than 5.1 likely to fill that space. But there's nothing wrong with starting out with a simpler system. So you have a better chance of then fine tuning and dialing in that more simple system than adding, like I said, more channels into the mix. If you go back into other videos, and I think we can link some of them below in this video, is I talked about, you know, focusing on setting up the front left right speakers to perform in stereo, listening to stereo material. Get them dialed in first and then add in the other speakers. Modern AVRs are wonderful things because you can just go into the menu and tell it, well, I don't have a center channel, I don't have surrounds, I don't have a subwoofer, whatever. Do some setup, do some dialing in of the positioning of the loudspeaker, um, you know, toe in of the loudspeaker, all the things I've covered in other videos, but start out there. If you start out with that 5.1 system and you immediately get it, you know, dialed in, you're happy, you're satisfied with the performance, but you think, oh, I'd love to have some Atmos channels or I'd like to have some side uh, surrounds or whatever, at that point, go ahead, but keep it as simple as you can to start if you're a complete novice, because believe me, it'll be much easier not only to dial everything in, but just to wire it up. Because if you came from the world of stereo and this is the first home theater system, yeah, looking at the back panel of a modern AB AVR, there's a lot going on and it's, a, it's very, very easy to miswire or misconnect something. So I hope that recommendation was helpful. Answering another question uh, from one of the comments in our, in our videos. And so I appreciate you commenting. Let me know what you think. Do you think that, you know, uh, no, I'm, I'm wrong here. You should just go for the, you know, full blown Atmos right out of the gate. As always, I really appreciate you watching. If you can like and subscribe, that really helps us. Thank you very much.